So, uh, I got version 1.3 of my world working now. And I have rebuilt the lighting system again. Now I've lowered the global illumination down so that it's only 0.75% and it's real time. And I have redone all of the lights to be spotlights. But have wide cast so you get this effect. And it's somewhat dark and somewhat moody in here. Like it should be. Also fix the rolling pin. I've also fixed the freaking cornflakes. But as you can see here, on the wall, in some of these objects, you get a shadow. That means it's fixed, sort of. I also found out why the servers look so low poly, and that's because I had them fucking backwards, because I am a galaxy brain, so now the servers look like they're supposed to. Green screen looks like it's supposed to. That probably shouldn't be a real time light. Their painting room. I do have the radio on quieter, but I turn the world, world light on to almost nothing. But you can see I get proper shadows here. I've actually properly sized the screen on this so that it actually, you know, fits and isn't sort of super awkward. It actually looks like the lamps are doing something. It looks like these lights are doing something. We get that nice effect. We go back to the kitchen and the bathroom. And the bathroom has better lighting. It's got a light that's supposed to be coming from there and a light that's coming from directly above that provides it more light. And it creates this really nice effect that I'm actually really unreasonably proud of for some reason. But we're here to the art gallery and I have a light for every single piece of art. It's not even supposed to be coming from anything specifically. And this lamp has a light, and then this lamp has a light, and this lamp has a light, so everything that looks like it should have a light generally does have a light. And I've also quieted down the radio more in this version. So, yeah, let's see how this one runs.